video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to start getting the treats um, either off your body and your dog being less dependent on the treat as their reward. So, how you're going to do that. Um, so, the first step is going to be when you teach a dog any new behavior, you're going to have to have those treats. And you may have those treats in your hands when you're teaching that new behavior. Once your dog knows the behavior pretty well and you've added the cue word like sit, touch, go to place, um, we usually do that about five times after they've done that behavior. Then you can start taking the treats out of your hand and sticking them in your pocket or put them in a treat pouch. So your dog doesn't rely on, when you have the treats in your hand, they're looking at your hand to, instead of doing the behavior, they're tunnel visioning on your hand with the treats in them, rather than giving you the behavior that you want from your dog. Um, so a lot of times what will happen is if I have my treats in my hand like this and I'm asking my dog to sit, that was really good. The last thing that they're going to want to do is sit because they're looking at the treats in my hand. So, step two would be, once they learn the behavior, take the treats off of you, put them in a treat pouch or in your pocket so it's not in your hand. Once your dog then has gotten down that behavior under, you know, some distractions, some different distractions, um, different durations, different environments, then I would start taking the treats off of your body and putting them somewhere else. Um, for instance, let's see where you're going to see this in the camera. So I might stick them over here. And I'm going to ask Finn down. Yes. Then I'm going to go grab a treat and then give him that one. And then the last thing is a treat is a secondary reinforcer. So it reinforces the behavior that the dogs give us. An, another type of a reinforcer is verbal praise, letting your dog sniff or smell, um, pets, things like that. So eventually what I can do is once Finn knows, as he knows sit pretty well, sit. Yes, good boy, good boy. And whatever Finn finds the most rewarding, whether it's pets on the chest or going to smell something really great in a corner or if it's telling him he's such a great dog, I'm going to start doing a uh, variable rate of reinforcement. So um, sometimes I'm going to give him a treat for sitting. Sit. Down. And then sometimes I'm going to just give him a, another reinforcer. So that is how you can slowly start to transition, transition the treats, um, not being on your body or your dog not being so focused on them to eventually not having any treats at all.